Hi there, this is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome to day two of my email course. And today I want to deal with a very common question. Do you stop drinking or do you moderate your drinking? And I'm guessing a lot of people who end up on my website would prefer the latter. They're, they're not really looking to stop because a lot of people, and I include myself in this, just can't imagine a life without alcohol being worth living. Back when I was a drinker, I wanted to stop because it was destroying everything. You know, it was stealing my money, it was destroying my relationships, it was damaging my career. And despite all that misery it was creating, I still believed that alcohol was my best friend. You know, it was my little treat. It was the best thing in my life. It's what I did every day when I got home from work. I opened a bottle of wine. Ah, oh, I feel better now. But it's an illusion. And you will find the more you watch these videos, the more that becomes obvious and truthful to you. It's an illusion created by the drug. So at the moment, if you're hoping to drink in moderation, I've got a question for you. Why would you want to do that? And the only answer is because you believe there is a benefit to alcohol. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to do it. If I suggested to you, why don't you take heroin in moderation, you'd go, because adding heroin to my life would not be any sort of benefit. It would not give me anything. It would just take. The problem is, you see, our Western world view of alcohol is distorted by the fact that it is legally licensed by the government and allowed to say whatever the hell it wants. You know, alcohol is like the cigarette industry 30 years ago. Alcohol is still allowed to say anything it wants. It can tell you that it will make you more sexy. It will tell you you're more confident if you drink this brand. It will tell you you will get the girls if you drink this beer. It will tell you that you are an elegant and refined lady if you drink this liqueur. It can say anything it wants. And so we have a twisted uh, view of reality in the Western world where we think alcohol is a benefit. Alcohol is the second most addictive substance on earth. It kills someone every 90 seconds. Just because the government endorses it does not mean it's safe. So, look, the harsh reality here, and I do apologize because I'm not one of those therapists that, you know, <laughs> quietly talk and pat you on the back and say, there, 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 everything's going to be okay. Just cut down a little bit, eh? I'm afraid I give it to you straight between the eyes and I tell you the truth because you need the truth about this drug for you to understand what it's doing to you. And the harsh reality of alcohol is it is poison in a pretty bottle. Attractively packaged poison. There's no debate about that. Alcohol is classified and categorized as a poison. If you buy it in its neat form, it will come in a bottle with a skull and crossbones on it, just like bleach does. There's no difference. So we can't argue over the fact whether it's poison. It is poison. So now I will say to you, is there any advantage logically in consuming a small amount of poison. Of course not. That's insane. But that's not the reason actually why you should avoid drinking in moderation and you should go to just stop completely. And I'll tell you why. Because drinking in moderation is hell on earth. It is the most horrible thing you can do to yourself and I don't want to see you suffer like that. Because here's the thing, look, you have a problem with alcohol. You've spent years, possibly decades, conditioning your body and mind to drink poison for fun. You are now addicted to the drug. Your brain has physically changed. It has been physically changed. There are pieces of meat inside your head that are there to facilitate your consumption of the drug. And I don't care what any other expert says. Some people say 30 days, some people say 60 days, 90 days, two years. Your brain will never go back to how it was when you were a child and before you started drinking. You can never drink alcohol again and not expect something bad to happen. You are addicted, your brain is conditioned to it, there is no way out of that now. Does that make you miserable? But that's because you still believe there is a benefit to alcohol. There is no benefit at all. And the more of these videos you watch, the more you will understand that. But you see, drinking in moderation, or social drinking, or controlling your drinking, means you have to look at something you want and force yourself not to drink the amount of it that you want. That is hell on earth. 
Or if you do it a different way, if you say you're only going to drink every other day, this means on a Monday you're happy because you can drink. On a Tuesday you're miserable because you can't. Wednesday you're happy. Thursday you're miserable. This is what happens when you try and drink in moderation. This means you now have to open a bottle of wine, drink one glass and put the bottle away even as though the only thing you want to do more than anything else, more than sex with a famous Hollywood movie star, is to drink the rest of that bottle. You have to put it in the fridge and forget about it. Impossible! We can't do that. So stop torturing yourself by thinking that you can drink poison in moderation. You can't, and why would you want to? It's like, you know, give it a diet analogy. It's like buying a beautiful box of Belgian chocolates, the best chocolates you've ever tasted, and putting the box in front of you on the table and having one and saying, I'm only going to have one a day. Close the box, but keep staring at it. Oh my God, I want a chocolate. Oh my God, I've got to avoid the chocolate. You're just making your life miserable doing this stuff. Stop drinking poison. That's the solution. And if that sounds difficult, it's don't panic, by the way. Don't worry. Don't think, oh, my God, he expects me to give up alcohol just like that. I don't. And I advise you don't stop drinking until you no longer want to. This is a big mistake that people make. You know, when they start my course, they think, right, day one, I must stop drinking. Stop drinking if you want to. But don't if you don't. Because no part of this course has anything to do with you forcing yourself to do something or using willpower to be a good boy or a good girl. That is not how this course works. You stop drinking when you become convinced that you do not want this poison in your body, in your life anymore. So don't worry and don't panic at what I'm telling you here. What I'm telling you is with the correct amount of information, with the truth, you will slowly learn that alcohol is definitely something that you don't want in your life. And when you get to that point, you no longer have to force yourself to avoid it because it's just something that crosses your moral code. It's just something that you wouldn't do. And perhaps if you don't smoke, you can categorically say, I would never smoke. I would never put that poison, that filth in my body. Or if you do smoke, maybe you can use a different analogy. Glue sniffing, heroin. I don't care how good heroin feels. I would never put it in my body. I know it's exceptionally dangerous. I know it would destroy my life. I'm not going anywhere near it. And that's the mindset you've got to get around alcohol. When you look at it, you see poison. When you see your friends drinking it, you're not tempted to join them because you're thinking, oh, why are my friends drinking poison? That's the mindset that leads you out of the trap of alcoholism. So if you're still asking the question, can I drink in moderation? You can if you want, but why would you do that to yourself? Don't torture yourself anymore. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, don't forget you can message me anytime, and I'll try my best to help you. Go to the website www.stopdrinkingexpert.com.